I have got a great illustrated tip for you creative people out there. I won't tell you what it is just yet. You'll have to wait and see in a moment. Before we get started though, I have got a few events coming up which you might be interested in. They're free, so don't worry about that. If you're in Melbourne on the 6th of December, there is an InDesign, very first InDesign users group meeting which I'll be presenting at. I'm thinking of recording one of my episodes live from there, uh, which is next week. That'd be exciting. I don't know whether I'm going to. So that is next uh, week on the 6th. On the 7th, I'm presenting at lunchtime an Adobe e-seminar, and you can register for that for free. It's an hour-long thing on InDesign typography, which we all just do so the next uh, so that is that's next week the 6th and the 7th as well as that I'll be working at, at the age which will be really great of look I've I've been doing some fantastic things last week I was at Warrigal hi to the the girls at Warrigal I was working out there in regional uh, sort of Victoria and I was also at Marsh in in town I'm just looking at my little calendar here I was also at the Financial Review Business Magazine. So a big cheerio to everyone there. And Pete, I'll be up there uh, with you soon. So we'll do some more stuff there. Terrific. So here comes the tip. This is a great color tip for creatives. (laughs) Hold on to your hats, creatives because I'm going to show you a great and easy way to build a palette of color swatches that you can use in both Adobe Illustrator here and also Adobe InDesign. Oh, why not? We could use it in Photoshop too, but that's for another time. Let's talk about creating the swatches. Now, I often get inspiration for my colors when I'm out and about in the real world taking photographs. Here's a photograph I've taken in Sydney, Australia. This is from the um, the floors of the Fairfax building at Darling Harbour. Hello to Pete Ritchies and the team out there at the Financial Review. So this photo taken out the window, I really love the colours in it. I love the goldy colours, I love the blue. I even like the smoggy colours in the background there. And I'd like to build very quickly a colour palette based on all of these things here so that's great step number one empty your swatches palette out okay so get out your swatches palette let's empty it out by coming over here to this fly out menu okay click that and then under that pop down menu you can see select all unused let's go ahead and choose it select all unused and of course they will highlight all of the ones that we can select in the swatches palette. Step number two will be to go ahead and delete all of those swatches. So we're going to go zoom in there, hit delete. Do we want to get rid of them? Well, of course we do. Press enter on the keyboard and they are out of there, baby. So we now have this. We could, of course, grab our eyedropper and go and sample some things. I know that, but I just want to get the predominant or the major colors out of this. I'm not quite sure where to click. Let's let Illustrator do it for us. And what we can do by selecting it is use the Live Trace feature. Live Trace for tracing objects. That's for another lesson. We're going to take advantage of one of the features in Live Trace that allows you to save color swatches. Step number one, go to Live Trace pop down menu at the top here, choose it, and then go to Tracing Options at the bottom there, click it, it will pop up, and we've got some defaults. There's a preview button, don't even worry about that. We don't want to even know what this is going to look like because we're not actually going to use the photograph. We need to come to Color Mode here, and instead of black and white, we want to choose Color. We'll zoom back out and choose color. There it is there. Choose it. 
Now, the next great thing is down here. The palette will be set to automatic. So it will generate a color palette for us. We can choose how many colors we would like. Let's choose eight. So I just up that to eight there and I can zoom in. You can see I've changed it to eight there. And the next thing that we can do is output those eight colors to swatches. So the tracing function here is going to go ahead, analyze our photograph in the background, pick out the eight most predominant colors and put them in our swatches palette, which is empty. So let's go ahead and hit trace and we will see what happens. Now the actual overall tracing of this photograph, it kind of looks all right. I don't mind it when it happens, but that's not really what we're after. We just want the colors, which is a fantastic feature of, um, of this uh, function, really. There we go. The tracing, it's okay. Doesn't matter. Let's get rid of it because all we really wanted was the color swatches. Isn't that fantastic? And there they all are there. Let's choose out of this pop down menu. Let's have a large thumbnail view of those colors. And we have built ourselves a fantastic lot of color swatches using the live trace feature in Illustrator. What if we want to then go ahead and bring them into InDesign? Here is a real quick, cheap and nasty way of doing it. Pick up your colors, color in some boxes like so. I'm just going to go ahead, drag and drop these boxes on top. And we'll get that one. Oh, I don't think I like that one too much. We'll get, there's our colors. Grab them all. Copy them to the clipboard. Jump over to InDesign. Do exactly the same thing here in InDesign where we select all unused and hit the trash can. And now paste. And there they are. Now I trace this in RGB. There's all my RGB colors there. Of course, I could do the same in CMYK if I like to. And that's it, tracing in InDesign. Oh, Illustrator. And then bringing the swatches in, I don't care what it's called, it was fun. <laughs> well, I really hope you get to use that tip. I use that all the time. I, everyone thinks I've got a fantastic color sense, but here's a top secret, I don't. Look, the sales of the Creative Suite TV Series 1 DVD have truly been underwhelming. Help us out. Keep the show on the air. Go ahead and get yourself a copy of that. It's available off my website. That's Creative Suite TV. Once Episodes 1 through to 10. It's 33 bucks. It's showing. It's hardly anything. And remember, in the month of November, I am giving away $5 from every sale of that to the Movember uh, cause, which is to promote uh, male health issues and to donate money for male health issues. Also, we have available this, which is my DVD set. This is a, a comprehensive CS2, best of CS2 in design disc, me and Wayne Rankin. This is available from our Australian website, by the way, uh, howtowowtraining.com. That's myself, Wayne, and Jack Davis. So get along and get yourself a copy of that and some other wonderful titles as well. Thanks again for tuning in. This is Mike signing off from Freddy's Sweet TV to get another. Yeah.